Hi everyone, Bob here from One Foot in the Grave 08. I've gotten a lot of questions about how I built my sliding doors on the back of my trailer. I've got to take them off so I can uh, get to the spring. I need to crank the spring up a little bit to help with the rear door once I put that new ramp on it. Um, so as I take it apart, I'm going to kind of show you how I did it. And hopefully that gives everybody enough information as to what I did. So hopefully this helps out. So as you can see, it's built of three panels and I used full extension drawer slides, top and bottom. Can't really see the top ones. That's the board I got to get off to get to the spring to tighten it up. Uh, the drawer slides, they just kind of come apart with uh, just like you would a drawer on a kitchen cabinet or a bathroom cabinet. There's a tab that you push down, you gotta pull out on the one door, it'll pop off. Then I pull the second one. Then the third one I'm gonna have to unscrew because that one's fixed. I'll try to show you that as I get going on the inside. So as you can see right there, there's a little lever. There's one on top and bottom. I can use those to uh, go ahead and slide the doors off. Can't really see the one on the bottom, it's a little too dark. So I'm gonna take the doors off. I'll give you a better view of that once I get them off and uh, we'll go from there. So for the fixed panel, I took the other two panels off. Fixed panel, I have uh, one bracket there, got another one up above, can't really see it back there, but there's another one back there that holds it. And then I just uh, screwed it right to the cabinet. So I'm gonna get that all pulled off and uh, then the doors will be out. Then all I have to do is take down that upper part up there um, I'll go, like I said, I'll go over the construction a little bit more. You can see how I built it. I just used a Craig jig with pocket hole screws to put them together. Um, as long as you're really careful about making sure that everything's cut square, it goes together square. As I said, I used a Craig jig for this. It's uh, spelled K-R-E-G. What it does is it's got a drill bit that cuts the pocket holes. Um, and as you can see, it's just butt jointed, but I also glued it. So with the glue and the Craig screws, um, it's very sturdy. You can take it and try and hard, it's kind of hard to show you, but as you can see, me pushing on it, moving it around, it doesn't rack at all. Um, I did cut, little hand holds in on either side. I uh, just drilled out for the deepest part, which wound up going all the way through, and then used a hand chisel to cut out and inset the handle. Uh, if we flip it around here, you can see, so what I did for the screen was just a standard old fashioned screen door type of screen um, where I, put the screen down, I stretched it out, I stapled it in place, and then I put this trim around it, which is kind of hard to see, but there's just little trim okay, around there. So you can see on the other side of the door here, protect, and I've got this groove. I use that for, uh, that's what the door actually slides into, so that you got a board on either side, and that way it, the door hooks in there, I've got a latch, and latch it from the inside or the outside. Um, yeah, that you know, that's where it seals on the in, on this side over here. Uh, you can see on the up here where I had to cut out for the door, the door slide actually, and then I actually put screen like fine mesh bug screen where the rollers are because I had to cut out a groove for where the rollers go so that they had room. I didn't want to have to put that board down any further or any further in. So, but yeah, you can also see up here I've got. Uh, I staggered some weather stripping. That's where the solid door goes, so it's screwed right to the top. That when, that weather stripping allows me to go ahead and have a good seal at the top. Uh, you can see it a little bit better on this door too. I also have it on each door in between where the uh, drawer slides go, where the doors overlap. That way it keeps all the bugs out of that as well. So this is the uh, board that or the piece that goes around the door spring. This is where the insulation is. And as you can see, I just used a few L brackets to hold this up. There's no real weight on it. There's no pressure on it. So 
I got I was figured it was okay to just go ahead and do it that way all right so there's the spring that helps with the rear door ramp door going up and down so I got to take this piece off again just some L brackets got four of them holding it up um, again no weight on it so it's not really a structural piece although I do have the pulley for the door here, which pulls on that, but I have a board over here that goes the full length down, which supports that area right there. 